Before going to discuss about periodic table, we have to know how many scientists are involved in periodic table. Robert Boyle was the first scientist to use the term element in 1661. He predicted some elements. After 18th century, another scientist Antony Loweiser predicted 11 elements. He organized the elements of periodic table based on the classification of their chemical properties. He classified into four categories: basic elements, gases, metals, non-metals, earths. Next, Doberman tried known some elements. He had thought to arrange the elements. He placed three three elements in a group. These three elements show similar properties. Three three elements are in one group. That's why he called as a triads. He placed elements some order based on the atomic mass. For example, alkali metal groups. Lithium is the first element. Sodium is the middle element. Whereas potassium is the third element of the triad. The arithmetic mean of atomic masses of the first and third element in triad would be approximately equal to the atomic mass of the second element in the triad. Here we can see the first element lithium mass is seven, third element potassium mass is thirty nine. So the average mass of first and third element, so that is twenty three. So twenty three is the mass of sodium. So sodium is the second element in triad. His classification was applicable only for few elements because known elements in having similar chemical properties. He failed to arrange elements in periodic table because. All elements in periodic table not show Doberman triad rule. The next scientist John Newland discovered 56 elements. He arranged the known elements in increasing order of their atomic masses. He started with the element having the lowest atomic mass that is hydrogen ended at thorium which was the 56 element. He found that every eight element has properties similar to the first element. He arranged fifty-six element into octaves. Why he called as octaves? Because the first and eighth element have same chemical properties, so this pattern is repeated. For example, starting at lithium, beryllium is the second element, boron is the third element, and sodium is the eighth element. So lithium to sodium have same chemical properties. They show similar properties. Out of fifty-six known elements, this octave rule is only applicable for up to calcium the remaining elements did not show octave rule here we can observe magnesium to calcium show same chemical properties because magnesium is the first element calcium is the eighth element according to newland octave rule so this show magnesium to calcium same chemical properties after calcium chromium to yttrium they did not show octave rule and totally 56 elements All these fifty-six elements, the octave rule is only applicable for up to calcium. The remaining elements does not show octave rule, so that's why he is failed to arrange elements in periodic table. The periodic table was developed by the Russian chemist Dmitri Mendeleev in eighteen sixty-nine. He discovered sixty-three elements. He arranged elements in periodic table according to increasing order of their atomic masses. The table was incomplete. Mandelieu predicted the position of missing elements. Yucca boron was the name given by Mandelieu to the predicted element that is scandium. Yucca aluminium was the name given by Mandelieu to the predicted element gallium. Yucca silicon was the name given by Mandelieu to the predicted element germanium. Three elements predicted by Mandelieu from the gaps in his periodic table were known as yucca. Mandelieu gives his name as a periodic table that is Mandelieu periodic table. He divided his periodic table in eighteen groups and seven periods. Here we can see horizontal rows, which go from left to right, are called periods, and vertical columns, which goes from up to down, are called groups. The eighteen groups can be divided into eight groups. We can see this picture: one A, one B, two A, two B, and so on. The number of scientists are involved to arrange elements in periodic table, but they are failed to some reasons. But they give some idea about how to arrange elements in periodic table. His periodic law is applicable for he known elements. That's why successfully used to periodic law to predict some of the missing elements. The next scientist Henry Moseley. 
he arranged elements in periodic table according to increasing order of atomic number why he arranged elements in periodic table according to increasing order of their atomic number because he saw some elements were out of place in mandelis periodic table that's why he determining atomic number using x rays he find relation between wavelength and atomic number this discovers is known as moseley law using x rays he discovered a method of determining the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom he says that the structure of the atom is key to understanding the element here we can see every atom containing protons neutrons electrons in their nucleus for example carbon atom containing 6 protons and 6 electrons thus the atomic number of carbon atom is equal to the number of electrons is equal to the number of protons he can say the number of protons present in nuclear atom is called atomic number atom of each element have different number of protons finally he concluded that the number of protons is an atom is its atomic number the element were placed according to atomic number this was an important change this is the modern periodic table therefore the main difference between mosley and mandelieu mandelieu arrange elements in periodic table according to the increasing order of their atomic masses as henry mosley arranged elements in periodic table according to increasing order of their atomic number one by one develop periodic table this is our final periodic table please like and share subscribe my channel